Patients with uh, diabetes can get all sorts of types of uh, skin problems. And those changes can occur anywhere from the face all the way down to the feet. Sometimes they will get uh, what looks like a persistent red face, kind of a condition we call rubiosis, but basically the face is constantly red. Moving down to the neck, you can get brown areas that are, have been described as velvety brown pigmentary change. And these tend to occur on the neck, in the arms, under the arms, and in the groin, and sometimes on the hands themselves. This is a condition associated with high insulin levels that we call acanthosis nigricans. In fact, this problem is so common that the school nurse now uses it as a screening test for the possibility of a child having diabetes. Moving down to the hands, you can notice sometimes a thickening of the fingers and sometimes an inability of a patient to actually go ahead and press their palms together, sort of like this, which has sometimes been referred to as a prayer sign because they can't actually close their palms like this. In addition to those changes, Sometimes the skin can develop some bumps, especially related to those people with severe diabetes uh, and their kidney problems. So as you're well aware that people with diabetes can have kidney disease, they can have eye changes, they can have nerve changes. And one of the things associated with kidney changes are these lumps and bumps you can get on your arms and legs. They tend to itch, people tend to scratch it, and they start developing changes in the center part of the bump that looks like something is coming out from the middle of the skin. And we have a fancy name for that, acquired perforating dermatosis, but these are itchy bumps on the arms, mainly on the arms and legs, associated with people that have end-stage renal disease along with their diabetes. Sometimes you can get diabetes totally out of control. And if you have that situation and you have a high change in one of the fat contents of your blood called triglycerides, you can have a condition called eruptive xanthomas, which look like red, yellow, or brown bumps and clusters. All of a sudden, you wake up one morning and there are these bumps everywhere. And this is a severe sign of uncontrolled diabetes and needs to be taken care of absolutely as soon as possible. Infections are increased. You can get increased incidences of bacterial infections, fungal infections. You can get nail changes with fungus infections, both on the fingernails and in the toenails. And there are several conditions related almost exclusively to diabetes. And those are changes that you see on the lower legs, usually on the front of the legs. You might have depressed brown areas, about thumbnail size, brown areas with some areas of depression. And this is referred to as diabetic dermopathy. You can also get a change in the skin that looks like a red-brown uh, bump that expands into a much larger area. The central part of this plaque gives a yellowish depressed look and a red-brown elevated border. And this is a condition we call necrobiosis lipoidica diabeticorum. In addition, you can get blistering on the lower legs. And this is referred to as bullis diabeticorum. You just get blisters out of nowhere. But probably the most important skin finding that you can see associated with diabetes 
is the foot ulcer. And I would imagine that in this series of talks, you will learn more about foot ulcers when you hear the pod podiatrist talking. But basically, you lose sensation in your feet, you traumatize your feet, you get big buildup of calluses. Underneath the calluses, you develop ulcers, and then you get infections on top of all of that. And the biggest cause of losing your foot or your leg is diabetes. So diabetes causing, amputa resulting in the loss of a leg or a foot. 